Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hey everyone, my name is Keegan McGregor from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and you can normally find me at Field Guide. I'd like to give a big shout out for Bacardi for allowing me to do what I love and being a part of the shift. So I know lately a lot of us are going a little stir crazy. We wish we can go back to the bar, to our favorite restaurants, and see our favorite bartenders. We miss those cocktails. But today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite cocktail in the world, the martini. Probably the most popular cocktail in the entire world. So I'm going to show you the ingredients we need. First off, we're going to need our vermouth. And here I have the martini dry vermouth. And most importantly, we're going to need our gin. And I have the Bombay Sapphire. We're also going to need a little bit of orange bitters. And let me show you the tools you'll need. All right, so I make my martinis a little bit differently than most people. So for the equipment you'll need is a couple sets or one set of metal tins. You'll need jiggers or measuring device, a stir spoon, chopstick works if you don't have one, a strainer, you'll need a knife, a peeler, ice, of course, a little bit of water, and this is gonna sound odd, you need a meat thermometer. Just trust me on this one, it's a game changer. So often with a martini, the bartender will ask you, shaken or stirred? always stirred. We're just going to do it a little bit differently. So we're going to take our large tin, we're going to fill it up halfway with ice and then top it up with a little bit of water. So what we're doing is essentially creating an ice bath for our small tin so it stays ice cold. All right, so our tin is sitting in this ice bath. It's going to help make it really, really cold. So our first ingredient is going to be two dashes of an orange bitters. I'm just going to add another layer of depth and complexity. And then we're going to add three quarters of an ounce of a dry vermouth. We're using martini dry vermouth. It's at 18%. It has really nice light floral notes throughout. So I like my martini a little wet. So a wet martini means there's more dry vermouth. A dry martini means less. And then the star of the show, Bombay Sapphire. We're going to do two and one third of an ounce of gin. So this makes it a ratio of about uh, one part dry vermouth and then about three, four, three and a half parts of our London dry gin. So one reason why I like Bombay is because it's a vapor infused gin. So it means all the botanicals are in the top of the still. So when you're distilling, all the vapors pass through, and that makes it a really nice, light gin. So we're gonna add our ice. And we're gonna stir, and we're gonna stir for a long time, just where everything is so cold. So we're just stirring and stirring. So the reason why I make my martinis this way is because it gets below zero degrees Celsius. Our goal is to get it to around negative 3.5, negative 4 if we're lucky. There will be about 50% dilution so it's not just a booze bomb right in your face. And that's why we have the meat thermometer. That cold temperature helps give it kind of silky, creamy mouthfeel. And also I'm one who believes that martinis uh, should be sipped on over time. So you want it to stay as cold as possible. Native 6.4. Let's, let's make this even colder if you can. Our dog just had a bath. She's not too stoked. Let's go get that ice. Or glass. Let's go get a glass. Da, 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 da. Let's go with this one. Nice and frosted. Hey, pooch. All right, so now we have our glassware. Our cocktail is nice and chilled. We need to get our garnish ready. So we're just going to take a lemon and we're just going to zest all around the lemon. Have a nice big peel. 
and then this next trick is a game changer. So we have our garnish, we have our cocktail. If you can see, the tin is just covered in ice. That's how cold this drink is. So we're gonna strain it into our glass. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna express our lemon into the cocktail as it pours in. So what this does, it helps allow all those oils to kind of get all throughout. Nice final twist on top. And maybe make that guy just look nice and pretty. Slice the sides. Get a nice little angle going. Twist. Throw it in. And there we go. A Bombay Sapphire Martini. That's how it's made. A classic martini made with Bombay Sapphire Gin. One of the most important cocktails in the history of drink. I hope you enjoy. My name is Keegan McGregor from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Find me on Instagram at Keegan Makes Cocktails. Thank you, Bacardi Shift. Thank you, Grand Familia, for everything you do. And this is me signing out.